Hey guys, it's Adriana here from Addu Lab, and today we're going to be talking about page titles. So what are they and why are they important for SEO? So first of all, page titles are just the clickable headlines that you see in search results. So these clickable headlines are really important for two main reasons. The first reason is that they're important for Google. Google needs to understand what you're selling and the content on your website in order to recommend you in search results. And secondly, page titles are important because you want them to be optimized so that they are highly clickable, so they look really attractive and alluring to people who are seeing your web page in search results. You want them to click on you. The other reasons are that when you share your product on social media, there's a little preview box that will pop up and this will contain the text of the page title. Another important reason to pay attention to what your text is saying. And the last reason is that what you enter on your page title is what will be used on the little computer tab. So when people have that tab open with your website, maybe they're shopping on your website and then they have too many tabs open and they forget which one's yours, what does it say? What is the text that reads in that page tab that will let them know what it is that they were looking at? If it doesn't make sense, then people might just close the computer tab and then you know you may have lost a sale. So that's another reason that you might want to pay attention to your page titles is because the text being used on there is very important for search engines, your customers looking at search results, the social media preview box that is being shown, and then the fourth thing is the computer tab window that is open. All right, so now that we covered why it's important for SEO, let's go into how should you write your page title. So your page title format should be your product name, the name of your collection, and then your brand name. And this is pretty standard all across the board, and we think it works really well because it gives the consumer a lot of information about what you're selling and who you are as well as the category of your product which can give them just a little bit more info and a little bit more info here and there always helps because you're trying to convince people to click on you right so the more info you give them the more likely you are that they will choose you over all the other search result options all right so a page title is actually different than your product title. So your product title is the name that you give to your product and this appears on your actual web page. So if you're selling blue shoes and that's the name of your product, then blue shoes will appear on the page itself. But the page title is what will be displayed in the search results. So if you have amazing blue shoes, that will be shown in search results, but amazing blue shoes won't be shown on the page itself. It will still just show what you have as the product name on the page itself. I hope that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing because they sound similar, but they're definitely different. But here's where it gets a little bit muddy. The way Shopify works is they'll take what you name your product, your product title, and they'll just default to using that as your page title. So a couple notes about this is, this is duplicate information, right? They're just calling it the same thing. And this isn't good because you're not telling the search engine, you're not telling Google something new about your product. And also this isn't good because you haven't rewritten your page title to be clickable. So on the Get Clicked app, you can go ahead and change your page title manually. And we have a couple tools on there that will help you and guide you along with the character count limit. So you wanna write a minimum of 30 characters and a maximum of 60. So you don't wanna go over 60 characters and let me explain why. Basically 60 characters is just a rough estimate of the 575 pixel width limit that Google imposes on page titles. So basically Google has this page width limit, just picture a box here, and they're saying this is where your page title must fit. So you can use all the different characters and you can use caps if you want. Don't use all caps, but you can use different characters and you can mix it up, but it must fit within this space that we've given you, this container. So we suggest writing a minimum of 30 characters and a maximum of 60. 
You can go ahead and play around with this and use our search engine preview generator to see how it will look in search results. Definitely pay attention to this because if you go over the character limit, if you go over 60 characters, Google will shorten your page title. They'll just truncate it. They'll cut words off and it might not make sense to the people looking at your search result because they can't read the entire word that was at the end of it. So you'll just see dot, dot, dot. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use keywords in your page title. And keywords are words or phrases that really describe your product and are hopefully words that people are actually using when they type something into Google search bar and are trying to look for a product similar to yours. So you're trying to target what people are actually searching for, right? Because you want them to be shown your website. So you want to place these keywords in the front of your page title. What this is telling Google is that this keyword carries a lot of weight. This is what I want you to focus on. And so this is really important to note because a lot of people when they write their page title, sometimes the word that is most important gets put at the end. All right, also you wanna write a page title that makes sense to humans. So one thing that I've seen a lot of is that people just get highly technical and it doesn't really make sense. They're product name is really just kind of gibberish and it's not something that I would click on. So definitely you want to write something that makes sense to people who are searching and browsing the web. Also, you want to make sure that you're not copying and pasting your page title. And this goes for pretty much any content on your website. Definitely don't copy and paste because duplicate info looks really bad to Google. This just tells them that your website might be of low quality because you're not taking the time to write unique content. So definitely be wary of this and don't follow it because it's a bad practice. Lastly, you want to include your brand name at the end of your page title. And this is especially true if you have a brand that people are familiar with or it's integral to your product. But also just including your brand name is a great way to offer more information on that headline that people are seeing. So they can see your product name and what it's all about, but they can also see who you are as a company. And this is a really great way to differentiate yourself from other results out there. All right, so when you write your page title, should you use pipes or dashes? And this is basically a conversation about the characters that you would be using. So honestly, it doesn't matter. Google doesn't care. And it's just based on your preference and how it looks. So try to create something very visually appealing. Definitely use the preview generator to see how it'll appear in search results and be mindful of how much space it's taking. But I think personally that a mix would be good. Pipes are really easy to read. Dashes can also be really helpful. So just kind of experiment and see what looks best on a search result. All right, lastly, let's just cover why Google might choose to rewrite your page title. So you've spent all this time writing custom page titles in the hope that Google will show these in search results. But as we discussed earlier, Google is the ultimate decision maker when it comes to how you will appear in search results and they have the last say. So why do they rewrite your page titles or why might they rewrite them? One reason is that you might be keyword stuffing and we went over this basically using the same keyword over and over again. They do not like this and what they'll end up doing is they'll just use content from the page itself and then just using whatever text they like as your page title. So if this is happening to you and you're guilty of over-optimizing or keyword stuffing, no worries, just go ahead and fix your page title so that it just uses your keyword once. Another reason that Google may have rewritten your page title is because they're trying to help you out. So this might sound really weird, but let's suppose that someone was looking up dog beds and you were selling a dog bed, but for some reason your page title wasn't very clear that it was a dog bed. Well, what Google will do is they see that you have a relevant product because they're reading all the text on your actual product page, but they notice that your page title kind of wasn't very clear. So what Google will do is just rewrite your page title so that it'll make sense to the person who is looking at search results because Google's entire objective is to provide relevant information to people searching for things on the web. So if this is happening to you, if you've noticed that you're ranking for a keyword, but that keyword isn't in your page title, 
then what you can do is just change your page title to kind of match that keyword. And you can keep an eye on this on Google Analytics. So definitely take a look at that. The last reason is that your social media meta tags might be overwriting your page titles. So if this is happening to you and you don't like the text that you're using on the social media meta tags, then all you have to do is change them and then wait a little bit for Google to crawl and index your website. And then you'll start to see, hopefully, a change in how you appear in search results. All right guys, I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what page titles are and how they help you and your store when it comes to optimizing your SEO. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at adulab.com. Thanks for watching guys.